Hello, everyone. Please enjoy day two. Well, we're sitting out here on our balcony, in our balcony suite, uh, here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Beside me, nobody. Oh. Oh, my wife left me. She left me, uh, she left me to go down to the uh, sail away party. I was taking a nap. Now, if you tune in to the first me. day, you she know he's me. supposed to be That's sweet. That's all right. He's so because crazy. Because I got to see the beautiful view of us taking off on the Carnival Mardi Gras. All the way from them taking the ropes off uh, of, those, of those huge um, uh, pin things that it holds in and pushing it under the boat so we could take off. And I got to see all of this beauty. Look at that. Look at that. Ain't it nice? Just sitting out here enjoying this beautiful weather. Carnival Mardi Gras, third sailing, y'all. It's the third sailing, uh, and it's inaugural cruise month. Um, and we are truly excited to be here. We've already had a great time. We've only been on the ship uh, maybe two, three, four hours. You know, we've already had uh, Shaq's Big Chicken. Oh, my goodness, you guys. When we show you the videos of Shaq's Big Chicken, the french fries, to die for I promise you, the chicken, uh, so good. Everything was wonderful. You know, I'm a, I'm a fat boy at heart, so I'm gonna eat everything that I can while I'm on here. Uh, but that was our beginning, and it was wonderful. I never get on a Carnival cruise ship without getting me some of the ice cream cones. It's a must do. I've already had my first one. We're gonna be here seven days. I'll probably have 40 more while I'm here. Don't judge me. <laughs> Anyway, just wanted to show you all a little bit. Nice little balcony. You know. Right here on the, in our room. Sitting here watching the cruise take off. Talk to y'all in a little bit. It is 3.15. And where, the day in Rome and, and where are you? You are in the bed. Are you asleep? No, you're not asleep, but you are chilling. Hello, We're about to go learn about San Juan, Puerto Rico, and what to do at the punchline. We got the ten tapenyaki tonight. And tapenyaki. Um, there is an echo in here. I don't know what Carnival is doing and why this is happening. Uh, but it is. And it's a male voice. You would think that if Carnival was going to do it, they'd make it my voice. You know what I'm saying? There's the theme song for the Tapanyaki place. Carnival, can you make that song again? <laughs> now, we are approaching the Fahrenheit Steak House right here. Um, I guess this is a little waiting area with the bar. And then that's a special dining area for like a group dinner. Nice light fixtures. Here we go. I'm gonna do one for my camera. <laughs> I'm like a big kid. I love that. And of course, y'all, we had to get some cameo pictures. Um, if you weren't here for part one, this is day two, and we just admired this beautiful ship. Here's movie. some more walkthrough. Aww. So this is, depending on where your room is, one of the dining halls that you'll be assigned to or according to what time you book your dinner reservations. This right here is the Carnival Kitchen. This is where you, um, you have to pay for this, but this is where you can cook with the chefs and you'll eat there, but you can see where those women are walking. That's exactly where you would be cooking and learning to make up a special dish. Um, pretty awesome. They're starting to do this on a couple other ships. Now you can see we are in the French Quarter, which is the whole area that we've been in this last French little bit quarter. of the restaurant. First up, as we come in, it has open seating. 
comes with a husband named Philip. <laughs> of course, I'm just kidding. He's mine. But you never know. You could meet your mate on your next cruise. How about you guys go ahead and hit that like button. This is the Emerald Restaurant right there. Now we're approaching the bars. The Alchemy Bar. And the fortune tellers on the bottom at the time. I couldn't remember the name of it. Oh, this is it. That's the one. Oh, this is the one. Yeah. Now at the fortune teller they make some unique drinks they have some music at night as well right there here is that mirror wall that i just love i took some pictures by the flower which will probably be on day three or four and here's another view of the fortune teller they've got some additional seating right here that old school victorian i think type of feel we also are approaching the yeah. flamingo the elegant one restaurant tonight, right you want to see what they got on their menu for tonight so unique in the their dramatic. design oh my gosh look at that trombones of light that's very creative go on and blow your horns now <laughs> more trombones of light what place is this one? this is the brass magnolia oh hence brass <laughs> ah hence brass just look at all of the design you guys we are coming up on a bingo game, and there is a winner. We just happened to pawned it at the time. Here we go. Orlando just won a thousand dollars. Great job, Orlando. So many people line up to play that bingo each day too. We're approaching Cherry on top, as I just said which is their candy store. Never been in it on any of the carnivals I've been in, but I've seen it before. they got a lot of cute stuff, so if you're into this type of thing, make sure you have your money saved up to purchase for whomever you'd like to buy some things for. Ooh, chocolate covered raisins. That sounds so good. All right. Look at here. Okay, now we just decided to stop at the cafe and look at the treats. Dark chocolate donuts. Wow. Interesting. Dipped strawberries. Oh, look at those, baby. Mm -hmm. What is that one? Coconut flan custard crackled in metallic caramel. What is this guy? It's like a pound cake, a bunch of cake. That's a marble, something. It's some kind of cream. Yum. Oh, bacon caramel, caramel. Oh, that looks so delicious. Oh. So here's what we got, you guys. Now we are outside. I wanted to catch the steel drum uh, player. So we're just getting our groove on and relaxing for a moment. People having fun in the pool. And that is security. Yes, the cruise ships have security. We had seen security before on a previous cruise ship. So you gotta do the right things even when you're on a cruise ship, you guys. In case anybody had any weird plans. There's the steel drummer. I just get awesome. all kind of different yeah. stuff done. Really? Yeah. I have like different shirts for every Tomorrow day. Tomorrow isn't promise. Cause him out today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't it's wait. Me, me. Yeah. It's me. It's me. That guy was so much fun. We were dancing together and everything when I first came in the store. Um, here is a beautiful shot I love to sit out on um, the balcony or walk some of the uh, ship and just catch that ship moving on the ocean, y'all. We're uh, in the back of the ship near Guy Ferretti's Pig and Anchor. And uh, they're cooking, as you can see. And um, this was the only restaurant that we didn't love or really like that much when we were on there. There we go. Now, this area is dedicated to our men and women in service. And I loved it. My dad is part of the Air Force, uh, retired, of course. Uh, if you can see, that uh, green machine was the ice cream truck. 
they had all kind of different things on this ship y'all cars scooters uh, they're warming up for the variety show which we didn't catch but we did catch the um, uh, what is it called the band the other band that they have that plays about every other night or a couple of times a day this shot of the ship moving is on our balcony I just love it love it so happy to be back to cruising and this is just me and Mr. Motley View having a good time together, acting silly and crazy. And he's singing. He always likes to wear his shirts and catch people's attention. Sorry for the wind here, you guys. If you're still watching, please hit like if you haven't already. We definitely appreciate it. Center stage band, that is the name. So it seemed like this night was a lot of Bruno Mars. It was a couple of other songs too. They did such a great job. We were getting ready to go eat and uh, we just kind of parked it here until um, they said that we were ready to go. Uh, we scheduled it here at the Tappanyaki. You schedule it, um, and when we checked in, they told them to give us a few minutes. Uh, here's a nice cherry blossom tree. Here is our fun Tappanyaki um, server, dinner maker, whatever you want to call it, which is basically, you guys, hibachi. Um, this will cost you. It's one of the restaurants that costs. Right beside it is the Tappanyaki Sushi, and that also will cost you. But, hey, it's open pretty pretty late in case you get hungry and you need something you can definitely stop at the sushi and get that he was acting a fool what <laughs> so here's our setup and of course they got to bring the entertainment with your food <laughs> and this right here is the comedian uh the first night's comedian she did several nights she was funny you guys and now we're back to the band had to put a smile on the crowd got bigger this night and it got bigger each and every single day um they did such an amazing job this is us enjoying ourselves This is just a great way to end um, our first night at sea. First full day at sea. That harmony was everything, y'all. And this is just a shot around of uh, the area. There's a bar right here by the center stage band. Behind is the coffee java place and the cherry on top that we showed you already. A lot of seating you can kind of um, space yourself out if you feel the need to um, these cruise ships are 95% vaccinate 95% uh, of people are vaccinated and right now uh, to date beginning of October the 5% is for the kids that are uh, 11 and under all right you guys I mean, how can you not like that? We're glad we took some, the opportunity because there's always something uh, going on on the ship, but we took the opportunity to at least uh, watch the band a couple of times. And lastly, this is the back of the ship near the, uh, this is uh, the guy picking anchor. And this band always rocked out. This particular night was Stevie Wonder tribute and they were getting it. Um, there was another night that the drummer just went off. This is us catching the lights. Now, lastly, it is uh, Phillips Day One takeoff, uh, which he didn't give me this until after I had already um, set up the Day One Part One 
um, takeoff of the Carnival Mardi Gras. So just enjoy. Again, at this point, we appreciate you for watching the video thus far, and we hope that you will continue to join our videos. And again, if you need any assistance with any kind of travel, cruise or otherwise, love all inclusives as well, please uh, check out my website and contact me, and I will be happy to help you. All right. Thank you guys for watching the Motley View. This was the last one left. They're waiting uh, until the rope goes across the other one, and they'll let this one loose, and we'll be off. And look at the little bird seagull just sitting on there. I'm like, don't bother me. Oh, you're moving now. Look at that, just got let loose. You know, see that? Watching the boat push away from the side. Look at that. This is the bus, I mean the boat. See, it's pushing away. It's pretty cool to watch it just push away. People who just wanted to see some of the inaugural cruises of the Carnival Mardi Gras taking off. We are on the third cruising of the Carnival Mardi Gras. Very exciting. Just want to show y'all. Look at there. Right here at the beach as we pass it by. All of these people are out here just to see us out. We got people either. Look at that. Posted up cooking out. Watching us as we go. They line up across here just to see this big inaugural cruise month of the Carnival Mardi Gras taking off. It's pretty interesting. 